Hey guys, welcome to a new Unity 5 tutorial, and this is going to be talking about or showing you how to use reflection probes within Unity itself. Unity 5 introduced reflection probes in the you know the beta and the newest release. In Unity 4, you used to have to bake out a cube map based on your camera, and it'd do a similar sort of thing. But this is more built in with the global illumination and everything, and is built in with the um, physically based shader and things like that. Now, what I'm showing you here is nothing really exciting going on. I've got a car model that I made uh, a while ago. Now my uh, material is, if you see, the albedo or the diffuse is just red, the metallic is all the way down at zero, and the smoothness is all the way up to one. Because a reflective material, or a material that will actually have some shine or reflectivity, will need to be um, reflective. Because if I move that in the middle, you can see that it has um, some sort of specularity to it. Now if we set that all the way to 1, it's ready to be prepared to use for um, a reflection probe. Because something like um, a car paint shader, or a window, or glass, something like that, which is going to have, which is going to be shiny, and is going to actually reflect, or the sky is going to reflect on things. Now this is just an example, so it's not the best way to do everything. Now what you can do now is go game object, light, and then add reflection probe. Now you can see my reflection probe has already been added to my scene over my vehicle. And you can see the preview um, down here. But what I need to do is, other I don't want it to be baked, because if this car is going to move, then it's going to be no use to us, because if it bakes the reflection once it moves, it's not going to follow the sort of sky and be realistic. So if we set that to real time, you'll notice that you will see the preview here, and you can see that it just makes a dome of the entire scene. What I'll do is I'll bring the entire reflection probe up so it's at the top of the vehicle, and you can see that the um, reflect the reflectivity or from the sky box actually changes. And you can see that now we can see the very top of the vehicle and all the skybox in there. What we can do is the refresh mode is currently on awake, so when we play the game, it will build out the reflectivity or um, activate the reflection plug, but only but the a reflection will be only built out once um, you run the game. Now, if we set this the refresh mode to every frame or via scripting, we're going to say every frame. So every frame that you have in your game, and if it's 30 frames a second, it's going to be built out every you know 30 times a second now we can set it via scripting if we want to do this slightly differently we don't want it every frame we want it every other frame and so on and so on we can do that we want the slicing to be all faces at one we can set the importance so if we want this reflection probe to be rendered um, more importantly than other things or other reflection probes this is going to be our main vehicle in our game we want to make sure that that's got the most importance so you can set the value accordingly we can change the intensity, so it'll just blow out um, your car and <laughs> the reflectivity there. So we want to keep it to a moderate amount. We can change the size of the reflection probe based on you know, how we want it to be portrayed in our scene. So we need it to encapsulate the vehicle for this. We could, could actually attach this reflection probe to our vehicle if it moved around, and we'd always get the real-time reflections on it, no matter where it actually went in the scene. We can set its resolution to something higher if we needed to, so 1024, it'll just sharpen up the resolution or the reflections on it. Um, you can just set you can set the clipping planes and such down so it doesn't render as far if you don't need it to, because it just acts as um, like a, a camera in selecting all the things from the scene and putting it into sort of one spherical map. As you would see for sort of visualization renderings and things, especially for vehicles and such. What you can do is once you've got all that set up and ready to go, if you press, you know, you can test your game and you'll see that you'll notice that reflectivity of the sky and such will be on your vehicle and on the car paint. And it will, because it updates in real time, it'll follow wherever I move, it will update accordingly because it's always updating. If we had a moving sky, it would update so the reflections would move um, as the vehicle moved and such. So the things that you've got to remember are the reflection probe needs to be big enough to encapsulate the area that you want it to be in. It needs to be above the object that we're using and wanting. You need to make sure that material on the object 
has enough smoothness or reflectivity. So if we take this down to halfway, you won't get any, or you might get a very small amount of reflectivity. And that's not very realistic because if it was a really nice shiny car, we'd want to see um, the reflections of the sky and such on there. So you can obviously adjust the parameters within your reflection probe and obviously a real time reflection probe um, refreshed every frame is going to be taxing if you had a lot of them but obviously if you're making a PC application and such it might add a little bit more realism to your scene but you've got to just make sure you look out for those things and you can make something um, moderate really realistic obviously this isn't the best way as I said to do it but it can add a little bit of more realism to your scene especially if maybe you're doing some a car game or something that has a lot of shiny materials so thanks again for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers